Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to a new video it's Ibrahim Muslim and today we are back with another video on Hackintosh so before we start I want to just I want to just tell you that I've been in such a big mess in the previous week and that's why I uploaded a video in about two weeks and that all started with a USB drive so I was formatting a USB drive for installing OS X I just tried to format that stupid GUID formatted USB using Windows operating system on my main system so I just formatted the drive and after formatting the USB drive the system asked me if I want to convert it into dynamic and I was just thinking that 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 thing will only convert my USB drive to the dynamic settings and I was like well why not let's see what the dynamic will do with the USB drive and I just clicked yes and that stupid piece of shit the stupid Microsoft design formatted all of my hard drives I got about five hard drives in my system it converted all of my GUID based hard drives into that dynamic shit and just formatted all of my data so that included about three terabytes of data and look at this let me show you how much data I used to have like I used to have like a about I have got about three terabyte of total storage and I used to have about 2.2 .2 or 2.4 terabyte of data and now I can only get my 760 gigs of memory back out of that formatted drives so it took me a lot of time to recover as much as I could I lost about 20 30,000 photos I was lucky to recover about 50,000 of my pictures family pictures and stuff, but still I got in such a big mess So let's come back to the topic and today this video is on how to get your Hackintosh booted up without your OS X installer USB drive So there have been a couple of questions in the comments below that people can't boot without their USB and They can boot with their USB and how to boot without a USB and all that stuff related to that so the First thing I will do is this this section is for those who have used uh, UEFI BIOS and UEFI installer USB drive to install their Hackintosh. So if you get that kind of USB, which means it's not a legacy USB, all you need to do is you need to open your Clever Configurator. That's super software that make all the Hackintoshing easy. And you have to click that mount EFI button and here you have to find your OS X drive in which you got your OS X installed I mean the OS X installer USB drive so here you can find this EFI on EFI OS X installer USB disk which is disk 5 and partition 1 and you have to zoom out and here you have to click that mount button this mount button once you have clicked that and you have to minimize this big thing and here you will find this super EFI this one this one if you can see this one this big EFI and you have to open this and oops it's empty but in your case it won't be empty and it would have an EFI folder in it I don't know where is the EFI drive oh I got the EFI here so I don't know that because the USB is empty right now because I just installed it for video purpose and let's take it back so you will have this EFI folder in this mounted EFI boom boom this EFI folder all you need to do is you need to copy this EFI folder if you can see the EFI folder and you have to copy this onto your desktop so let's re rewind it you have to open your Clover configurator you have to mount your OS X installer USB disk you have to click that mount button after mounting you can open you can click this open button from here and now it will open this thing there might be only this single folder and there might not be these folder if you have used an older clever configurator or clever bootloader so there might be only this folder all you need to do is you need to copy this folder to your desktop and after copying this to your desktop you will find it here and that's all you have to do with the USB drive after that what you have to do is you have to close this old stuff to make things easier you have to just kick the thing out and I mean yes eject all 
and it will eject the USB drive as well. Oh yeah, I mean that. So after ejecting, you will get rid of that stupid USB drive. Get out. And after getting out of the USB drive, all you need to do is you need to mount your OS X drives EFI partition. Listen carefully. You have to mount the EFI partition of the OS X drive in which you have your OS X installed. So I got my OS X installed in here, which is uh which is the first disk, I think. Uh yeah, it might be the first disk. All you need to do is you need to click this mount button and then you have to click this open partition button. And in your case, this will be empty because there will be no EFI. That's why you won't be able to boot into the OS X installer without a USB. And to make that thing possible, you all you need to do is you need to press or you, you need to right click on this and you need to copy and you have to paste that thing here. And and I won't click that. It's gonna be it's gonna crash my PC though after I restart. So all you need to do is you need to replace this. So I hope the thing is clear now how to boot without a USB drive into your Hackintosh. And now we will learn how to boot into OS X drive without USB if you're using a legacy motherboard. So if you are on a, on OS X Sierra, all you have to do is you have to open Multi Beast 9.0.1 and you have to press enter and here in bootloaders oh yes you can see this legacy boot mode click that Ta -da. go to customize and the best uh, system definition from my point of view is iMac 14.2 if you are using a desktop if you are using a desktop and for those who are using a laptop they can go with macbook pro 8.1 8.2 these are the most reasonable one but for desktop you can go with imac for macbook you can go for mac for laptop you can go for go with macbook pro so i will select my imac and then all you have to do is you have to click on this build and here you have to select your os x drive make that thing clear you don't have to select your usb drive you have to select that os x drive in which you install the os x so select the legacy from the bootloader go to customize select imac 4.2 if you're using a desktop 8.2 or 8.1 if you're using a mac laptop click on that build button select the install drive and os x that's it and then just successfully install that thing because I'm using a UEFI motherboard, I, uh, I just don't need to install this into my system. But this is for those who are using a UEFI motherboard. So they have, they might have to add and uh, like configure some of the settings as well. Because hackintoshing is not easy at all. You might have to edit some of the stuff, and you can use different software for that as well. Let me know. If you want to learn about that software as well and here in the quick start you can get a hell of the settings in the start just click that and this thing might help you boot into your OS X straightforward so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it if you have any question query please feel free to ask below and please share the video like and subscribe and I have checked lots of my statics 95% of the viewers are those who haven't subscribed I don't know people watch the video so much but they don't subscribe that's a kind of a curiosity in my mind but still I love you guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it until the very next video please take care Allah Hafiz